We wish the negative de negative energy into existence. That's what's gonna happen. All but right, speaking of negative energy, we got John Numbers versus uh, Yoshi. Was John <laughs> we got John Numbers versus Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> we fit and Yoshi. Oh, that's and this is the, a fight for, to get into loser semis. And um, it's funny because this matchup happened um, at one of the recent uh. Tinos, and it was John versus Raptor. But Raptor is a lot less proactive when it comes to um, comboing people, and Suarez will definitely just hold in. <laughs> Like, Suarez will get himself close in so that he can either combo the hell out of you or just hit you with an air and get you off the stage. Yeah. Raptor, a lot more acclimated to throw some eggs and hope for the best. Yeah, and, um, I, you know, I'm interested to see how Suarez approaches John off stage. Because one of the things John has excelled at, even whatever character he's played, um, he, he's excelled at the, at the offstage game. So I want to see, like, how he approaches that in general. No option at the ledge. Suarez is just sort of waiting to get hit. Yeah, and it, it seems like Suarez is taking that, you know, wait and see approach to see what John does. Because I'm, I mean, like, there is a Wii Fit on Long Island, which is a stock taker, but. Yeah, whenever the, the Wii Fit comes out, it's usually in the tradition of Suarez teaming with stock takers, mm -hmm. not so much as fighting against him, so I. Like, Might be a different flavor that he's playing yeah. against right now, yeah. Um, but it seems like, you know, it seems pretty even. It seems like Suarez is um, doing what he needs to do, but, you know, he is at higher percents. And Wii Fit does have like pretty decent kill options. Yeah, if Numbers gets uh, deep breathing, like you mean set, limit. <laughs> yeah, limit, diet limit. Uh, I, think it's, I think at this point it's the definite fit of the limit. <laughs> um, it's, the, it's the vegan option. Ooh. Yikes! And that up air, and there's frame trapping Numbers with an air to up air like. <laughs> um, yeah, John putting him on stage, trying to get, trying to clip him with some sun didn't work out for him really. Now it comes down to how is John going to take the stock out? I, I feel like it's going to be back forward tilt that the ledge is good to. I was going to say back air out of shield. Yeah. Because Numbers has been putting it work with that, especially with the uh, the breathing buff. Yeah, man. John definitely used to spam that in the previous game, but in this game with the deep breathing buffs where he almost perpetually has deep breathing, uh, it's kind of intense. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. That being said, though, as far as we're going to have so much damage just from one interaction, the air dodge out of a... Really smart. I said this previously, where any character, if they have a defensive option to get out of uh, egg, they should almost always go for it. Yeah. Directional air dodge, probably the worst of those, but still not too bad. That being said, the Suarez ran away with that whole stock. Yeah, um, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty dominant stock by Suarez. Let's see how John can bring it back a little bit. Maybe slowing in the pace, because it seems like he's taking a little bit more time when approaching Suarez. So the patient play from Sora is actually working out well now, because now it seems like he's almost trying to stall out the uh, the deep breathing buff. Yeah, I mean that's smart because especially with the characters that gain like some type of um, advantage when it comes to limit camping or um, arson, right? Um, it's good to kind of wait it out a little bit because rushing in is going to get you clipped, and Suarez is definitely definitely does not want that to happen. Like you got time on the clock. Unless you're, you start seeing big numbers on the screen, there's no reason to not just wait things out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, it, you know, it seems like John, uh, he's getting hit a lot by the um, command grab. And he got hit by uh, Egg Nair. Yep. Eggly is super good just for catching people off guard. Because, like, you expect Suarez to run in on you, and then it's combo time. So, obviously, you want to sit and shield and wait for your punish. But then he just goes for the grab. It's so yeah, like a it, lightning round of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, and I feel like John's waiting for an option, like maybe like you know aerial option coming out from Suarez, but he's not giving it to him. And Suarez is almost every time when John is turtling in shield, just hitting him with that, uh, you know, with the command grab, just catching him off guard and putting him at disadvantage. Game two bring us right on back to Stadium Two. Pardon me, wants to say we can see the whole set go here as long as uh, as long as uh, FD gets banned. Yeah. Um, do you think John is going to stay Wii Fit? I mean, for the rim set after this game. There's a chance that he'll just stick to the Wii Fit. The only reason I say that is because I I don't know how confident John would be in picking Swordsman into Suarez. Oof, okay. Yeah, good get up attack option by John. But um, yeah, you know, I'm interested to see like how this goes. Uh, I want to see how John adapts to Suarez, kind of like just being in his space. That being said though, Su uh, Suarez doesn't particularly like fighting any of the knees and has struggled a little bit with like dedicated Swordsman knees okay. on Long Island. Yeah. Like, he's lost a set here and there. They're not very common, but it has happened before. And Numbers knows what he's doing with the knees. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
you know, we'll see how this goes. Um, you know, right now it's pretty much like almost an even game. So, I just want to see if John can like take his time and not let Suarez like overwhelm him with his, you know, his uh, aerial pressure. That's one of the issues when you're fighting Yoshi is just the fact that Yoshi's able to just glide in on you. But if you can occupy this, the airspace with <laughs> hitboxes, you don't worry about Yoshi. He got, yeah, he kind of just glided into that um, deep breathing. I mean, excuse me, into that um, salute the sun. You just see giant glowing ball, and you're like, yeah, that's a safe spot. Oh, and Suarez, he tried to read his soul. He said, you're definitely not going to press the button. I'm going to down smash right in your face. And um, John got out of the situation. Whoa. All right. Suarez actually pressing buttons right here. Yeah. You know, I, I like how John is taking this approach to um, to Yoshi now. It seems like he's jumping in less and kind of taking the ground approach. Like both of these are characters that get so much off the jump in, but like they can also get exploded by answers because once like Yoshi commits to his jump, he can't do anything super quickly once he's actually like doing the lifting off the ground. Mm -hmm. So you can call that out. And we've seen that even though they're kind of weird, Wii Fit does have Ooh. decent anti air options. Wow, and 56% right off the bat. Like, that was, uh... Just don't make mistakes! A pretty crazy confirm. This, this, this character is insane. In Suarez's own words, Yoshi carries. Yeah, no, Yoshi's, um... Yoshi deserves to be this good. I'll say that. But, um, nobody likes Yoshi. <laughs> I don't like Yoshi, definitely. But. I, but I like I like the approach John is taking. He's just charging his soul to sun, char charging his limit. You know, um, while Suarez is off stage. You know, getting his resource, he's charging his resources while Suarez is off stage. And with that said, he took that stock with the forward air. Yeah, it's a pretty convincing stock, too. Please stop. Stop mashing into John. <laughs> Come on. Stop mashing into John. Oh like, it's God. not a good up tilt. <laughs> it never was a good up tilt. It's pretty good. It is it got good. way better. It, yeah, it, better. It, 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 it is pretty good. It, it is a pretty good up tilt. They, yeah. gave her, they gave her butt a hitbox. Yeah, it's pretty good. But, like... You're not supposed to land into it that many times. Yeah. Um, that being said, you know, Suarez taking the stock. Took a quick 92%. John kind of racked that up in a very short amount of time. To be fair, 50% of that was from landing on up tilt. Yeah, I mean, like, look, if you're going to keep mashing, right, you know, you want to keep going for option A and you keep getting hit by option B, you know, hold that. <laughs> but right now, John just trying to get away from Suarez, trying to reestablish his space. John getting aggro without the, the deep breathing buff, kind of a weird choice, because he's got the pressure to keep on, and I like that, but like, he was getting so much while he had deep breathing and just barely escaping the forward air. Hold up. Yeah, and I, and I think Suarez is, is kind of just like putting more pressure on John, where before he was kind of just throwing out eggs at, you know, from full stage, and John was charging his resources, and now Suarez is kind of realizing that, trying to close as much space as possible, because we fit with her resources is very difficult to deal with. Yo, for a moment, I thought Suarez didn't DI that, like, at all. So I was very worried that that forward tilt just nabbed the win. Oh, yeah, no, no, like. Uh, oh, no! Ooh, deeper than fourth. And that was strong hit, you would have died. Oh, no, he, he got red. His jump got red. Yeah. I mean, just that second, you know, just the last dock with that. And Suarez kind of just keeping the pressure on WeFit. Because he realized he was giving WeFit enough space to charge all our resources, get her limit, get her, get her strength. And whenever they interacted, it was kind of just like, okay, well, now you just ate 60% for interacting with WeFit. <laughs> so let's kind of mitigate that by just pressing buttons in their face. So much damage, bro. Yeah. All right, WeFit st sticking around. Part of me wants to know what would have happened if John picked into Swordsman, but who knows? We might not get that opportunity. Suarez sitting up 2-0, and he is playing with a fire beneath him. Yeah, I, you know, I, I kind of want to see how John adapts. Um, because, you know, he adapted and then Suarez adapted back. And oh, no. Yeah, no, he's okay. Yeah, if that was a spike, he was done. But, like, you know. Luckily, he did not get forward air, forward air spike. Yeah, the sour spot coming in clutch. Although, that's still a lot of damage before John even really had an uh, opportunity to answer back. He's getting a few hits in now. And 58 yeah. on Yoshi is not bad by any means. Oh, yeah, no. Let's see if John get off the ledge. You know, in Suarez being cognizant of, you know, John's jumping options, just like throwing out a bunch of back airs. Ooh, and John bringing this back pretty fast, you know, 112%. Both of these characters just have ignorant damage output. And even though John had the egg at the ledge, he didn't go for anything. He could have had forward air, he could have had up air. 
man. Yeah. Um. Yeah, in the up air. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who's deep breathing up air, but that was definitely an up air and killed as far as that 150. Right now, John quickly racking up that percent. 58 percent off the bat, like. Just so catching much. Just catching all the Suarez's <laughs> jump ins. John has actually ran into every one of these hits, and he's eaten 116 because of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suarez, de <laughs> Suarez has definitely run into every single aerial that John has thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. And, and I, I really like how John is playing this ledge. He's not pressing buttons, so he's sure that Suarez is going to press a button off the ledge. He's capitalizing off every single one of those. And, you know, that's going to happen. But that was, like, 157%? That's so much. Like, and this is probably a percent that Weave is going to kill you out off a straight hit. Right? There aren't, there aren't any percents like that. Oh, you died, yeah. Yeah, with, with breathing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things they buffed heavily is a forward throw with deep breathing. Oh, and that... Oh, John getting back to save, that was slick. Like, they... They both have pretty solid ledge movement, but yeah. Numbers has been doing really good in this matchup. Yeah, especially with the lead, you know, just John. Dealing with John at the ledge with the lead, even in this game, it's kind of difficult. Back to the forward tilt, popping him back up for even more damage, yo. Yeah, and it just seems like, you know, Suarez, you know, this is the adaptation I was talking about where let's see how John adapts to Suarez being aggressive. Now that John is adapting to Suarez jumping in on him, he's anti-airing almost everything that John, uh, Suarez is doing. And that's a fairly well-known habit of Suarez, where like he'll jump in a lot, especially once he's pressured. Numbers yeah. caught on to that and blew him up. Yeah, I mean that, that was very good adaptation coming out from John, because you know, because Suarez kind of dominated in the first two games, and John was like, you know, I'm not having any of that at all, not today. What do you think is gonna happen going into game four? Battlefield pick. This could be the uh, the make or break. This is a really good stage for Suarez. It's like a comfort pick for him, where it's not necessarily like the best stage for Yoshi, but it is a sh really strong stage for Suarez. Yeah. And then as far as Weepit is concerned, I feel like the past few games have showcased that John knows how to like how to catch those anti airs, or, like put out the anti airs, and he knows how to control the ledge, but he hasn't had a particularly strong combo game. It's just been sort of like hit after hit after hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and sometimes those those type of neutrals can take a toll on you more than, like, trues. Because at least with trues, you know that you're kind of stuck in the animation. But with reads, multiple reads, it's kind of just like, okay, they kind of caught into my strategy and I kind of make, have to mix, mix it up a little bit. Kind of gets to your head somewhat. But um, right now, we're going to the battlefield. And Suarez, you know, with a slight lead. <laughs> it's like a hit with the back air. He loves to be able to trap people along those plots, but it's a whole other story once John starts putting people in the trap. Yeah, and you know, John has always liked this stage. Um, he, you know, he does actually lab setups where it comes to, um, especially zero percent setups where it comes to like doing down throw or tech chases. Um, you know, let's see how um, as far as can bring this back a little bit. Shield poking with down there. Nair. Ooh. He's, he's trying to press plenty of buttons. None of them working out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm surprised the down tilt didn't him. That that down tilt's active. That's an active down tilt. That is something I've learned today. That, that, <laughs> that down tilt, it reaches, it sticks around. Like, numbers have been put into great use. Yeah. Right now, just John taking his time getting back to stage. And he hit his double jump armor, which was negative on hit, and then he got back aired for it. Oh my god, why is this Yo What's his character in the game? <laughs> He's been around forever. They just let him be good all of a sudden. That's That's terrible. Okay. And yeah, Suarez with these egglays, man. Like, Suarez has to be... I've, I've seen him get so many egglays, you know, just in general, man. Like, he's, like, really good with the timing. He gets so much off of it, whether or not it's damage or good stage positioning. Like, it's almost always a good call from Suarez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Although, <laughs> Suarez throwing out all these hitboxes at the ledge. Not once has Suarez made an attempt to go off stage with numbers. He hasn't even tried. He's just either put egg Ooh, or... And he did, he just did it. And wow. John with the, the ash snuff of the, <laughs> e snuff of the nose, just like, okay, I did it. <laughs> oh, my God. The, stop pressing buttons. <laughs> Please. 
I'll believe you guys when you say that that up tilt got buffed, but it's not this good. It, it is. As an anti-air option specifically for that, it's very good. <laughs> That's literally what that move was made for. Suarez is putting is like giving this move way too much credence. Yeah. Um. Right now, you know, he's bringing it back. You know, pressuring John on stage. Ooh, I'm surprising him with that forward tilt. There we go. Oh, no tech. We're not going to take that out there. You know, good. No good harassment by Suarez. Just like going out there and not caring at all. You've been ta you were talking about how he hasn't been going off stage enough, and that was like a pretty good edge guard. Ooh. Not able to get anything off of it. Run right off stage now. Okay. Oh, and I, and I like that grab attempt coming out from Suarez because it was an option that he hasn't used, he hadn't really used at all. But um, that read, I respect it. So I don't know if he's doing it on purpose or if it's just by happenstance. But Suarez has been getting a lot of his aerials caught in the ball from Header, and it's both extending them and letting them linger a tiny bit in really weird ways. And it's kind of backfiring on numbers. He's like getting caught out by things he really shouldn't be. Yeah, probably just like you know messing with the timing of like the punishes that John wants to do. Um, okay. Yeah, and you know what? And <laughs> this is probably why Suarez hasn't been going off stage as insanely as, you know, you might have hoped because of stuff like that. You know, there is a rule in Smash 4 that you just don't, you just don't challenge John off stage that much because uh, unless, unless you have a sword, it's kind of not worth it. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> especially because, like, that was... Suarez got just, like, ripped out of the air by Header. <laughs> I think that was like a decently spaced oh forward air too. And you just grabbed him by the nose, just get him it's out of like, there. Why are you even here, sir? I told you about this. I told you about this place of town. You, can't be, <laughs> you cannot be around here. Oh my god. Um, Start stepping off the ledge. You're kind of allowed around here. And John immediately just getting getting a limit, and um, you know that's pretty much how he starts off every every uh, every game. There's no reason for him not to. Oh yeah, definitely. Immediately attacking with 44%, man. Oh, like 59%. And right now, you know, the holding in coming out from Suarez that you were talking about is kind of backfiring on him because, like, John is just, like, entering almost everything that he's doing. Yeah, one of the interesting things about this match was the fact that, like, Wee Fin herself isn't a very combo-heavy character. Yeah. She's going to go for those resets, those reads. It's just, like, tit-for-tat damage. Mm -hmm. And that's super good against a character like Yoshi because at no point have we really seen Yoshi's double jump armor come into play to save Suarez. Yeah, like, pretty much only that one stock that we saw um, really came came to play with the double jump armor. But other than that, it's just been Suarez jumping in on John and John kind of reading those jumping attempts with the, you know, one of his attacks. Very uncharacteristic of Suarez not taking the opportunity to get a jab lock forward smash. Yeah. Okay, you know, Suarez going for that mix up. You know, if he popped that early, he would have hit him with the down beat. But you know what? Still got the damage. Yeah, Suarez changed the timing on that too because he's. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and going off stage with the Nair. Really active, really strong, so. I like that. Suarez actually peeled after he noticed he wasn't going to be able to shield chip with uh, down air. Yeah, and you know what? That thing you were talking about earlier when um, with Suarez attacking the bowl, he actually went for that and got clipped by the bowl before the backer even came out. So, kind of unfortunate thing for Suarez if that's what he's going for. Oh, he's yeah. Go for the second. All right. Suarez loves going for the double egg lay, but Numbers has been doing a fantastic job at mixing up his mesh times to get out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, ooh, that was gross. Yeah, you definitely eat. Oh no, okay. Let's see how John can get back to the neutral. What are you doing? Um, oh no. Yeah, you know, Suarez taking this time because uh, that was definitely SD. Suarez taking this time. He's got to kind of re kind of just regather himself after that stock, which is very good, right? Like, you need to maintain poisons, stuff like that happens. But John, you know, tackling like quick 46% right after that. And counting. Like, that's bad. Like, this is game five. You cannot afford to be throwing away stocks like that. Or going he, that deep. Oh my with John. God. I thought he almost died again. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised they didn't kill. Suarez is getting super bold now with moving off stage. He's eating plenty of damage trying to go in for this early kill on numbers. Yeah. That's going to do it. Yeah, you end up getting it. You know, just pressuring the ledge of back air, just forcing numbers into something they probably didn't want to do. But, um, you know, Suarez after the SD, you know, bring it back pretty strong. It's a do or die moment here because this is, this is set point. Oh, no. He almost got spiked again. Oh, God. Like, Suarez hasn't figured out what to do at the ledge against numbers, and you can't really just give him space, otherwise he gets all his resources back. Yeah, and, and you know, the problem was that one time he did really go to challenge him really hard off stage. He, got, he died for it. 
So I think that's kind of sticking in the back of Suarez's head whenever John is on stage like that. Back air. Single hit back air and links into another one. Oh, what a dunk. Oh, and John kept his jump. Okay. That, <laughs> that could have been really bad. Like, as I say that him not going off stage is... <laughs> one of the hoops hitting Suarez. I, I can't this speak. This is such right. a tense situation. You know, let me just stop speaking because Suarez has almost killed John twice already. <laughs> off stage, so... Like, the action is doing such a good job of speaking for us, man. Look at this! Oh, okay, and that trade did not work out for... Suarez what? is just willing to go for it. No, and John saved him. He, I mean, he had to get up back backstage, but back throw just for okay, damage. Did we, okay, so it feels like, so whenever whoever grab John grabs him on the stage, he's gonna die. <gasps> Fodor with the breathing, that's gonna do it. Yeah, catching you know catching his jump in. So you know Suarez not looking too happy because it seems like towards the end of that last game that he was really, uh, you know, adapting to John's ledge play and how to really approach John offstage because... Yeah, uh, Shark! 